Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a tutorial on how to double side print and cut on Cricut uh, Design Space. Uh, there are a few tutorials out there, however, uh, they just don't line up correctly every time I've tried them. So uh, yeah, uh, if, you, uh, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and open up Cricut Design Space. I already have uh, something that I'm working on for a customer, Presto Glow. Uh, it's just a label front and back. They're both the same image on the front and the back. It doesn't really matter if they're the same or different images and or different text. If you'd like to know how I design those, just leave a uh, comment on the section below and I'll upload another video. So here's our front and our back. We're going to be working on the front part of it first. That's the back. So I'm just going to hide it. Uh, we don't need to work on that right now, so I'm just going to hide that. And here is the front section. Both of them are lined up exactly the same. It's just actually a duplicate of one another. However, uh, being that I flattened it and I attached them, I'm just going to unattach right now. Uh, now, just the image, not the actual cut part, but just the image needs to be shifted down about two clicks. That's what I found that works exactly how I want the uh, the alignment to be. So just two uh, clicks down, like I'm doing here. I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit. Uh, you guys get the uh, gist of what I'm doing here. Okay, and I'm going to attach that again. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and print. Uh, Cricut always prints on the left side. That's, that's the line. default. Uh, it doesn't really matter for this print job, but let's go ahead and send it to the printer. Now, I never, I uh, always make sure that you click the right printer and I don't put an, a bleed. So let's go ahead and print. Okay. <clears throat> Now, in the meantime, once this is printing, just remember how your page comes out. The way your page comes out is exactly how it's put back into your printer. I'll show you uh, in, a, in a few seconds. Okay, let's go ahead and cancel the cut now. Click yes, cancel again. Okay, now we are going to hide that front part and unhide the back part. Okay, there you go. Now this one, we don't have to shift anything. This is exactly how we first designed it and go ahead and, and send it to the printer. Now, if you notice, this can be shifted. It's default to the left. We want it to the right, as far to the right and as far top as you can. Um, you want a mirror image. So go ahead and send it to the printer. No bleed. Now you're going to use the systems dialog. Another window comes up when you click print. This is the important thing. This is how you're going to get both sides aligned correctly. Um, so if this section doesn't pop up, it's on the details page. So hide details, show details. You go on the media, under layout. Okay, if you notice how the image is right now. Now we're going to reverse the page. Click that and it brings it to the bottom left reversed. Now, if you notice, the name is upside down, and that's exactly what we want because uh, when we turn it, it'll be right side up. Okay, so click print. Now, this is what I was talking about. The way the paper comes out is the way you feed it into the tray of your printer. Each printer is different, so make sure you know how your printer prints, if it's bottom or top. And this is the result of the print job. If you notice, I, the images are exactly aligned front and back. You don't have to worry about the marks because it only cuts the front part, not the back part. You want the images to be lined up correctly. And let's go ahead and put it to the printer. Now, sometimes we need to make sure that we line the paper on the mat correctly. So just go under your edits part. Notice my uh, paper is lined correctly. And feed it into your Cricut machine. I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit. 
And here are our results. Front and back aligned exactly centered. It's great for a sticker. Uh, if they're front and back stickers, they're great for labels, clothing labels. We could put a hole on the top um, for clothing labels. So yeah, thank you again, guys. I appreciate your views. And uh, again, follow me on Instagram at pepe.designs and have a great day.